Hello fans, Star Wars fans, welcome to Low Bricks. Um, as you can see, we are uh, still building our tattooing diorama. However, in the second video, we were going to build the mountains, but we didn't get the pieces in just yet. So while we're waiting, I thought I would do a review video. Um, I know there's a lot of review videos out there already, but something's been bugging me about these Lego battle packs, and I wanted to talk about it. So um, the two battle packs I'm looking at is 75265, which is the T-16 Skyhopper versus the Bantha and the Tusken Raider, and then the Mandalorian Battle Pack, which is 75267. Something I was talking about with my assistant, my son, is um, when the kids were little, for 14 bucks, a battle pack, you get a good guy and a bad guy, and you could have a battle. There's a whole reason for a battle pack. Um, but recently, the battle packs have been all uh, good guys or all bad guys. In the case of Mandalorians, are kind of gray. But the Mandalorian battle pack, you didn't get a good guy or bad guy. You just got a bunch of Mandalorians, which actually is kind of cool. But if you really want to have a battle of two Star Wars adversaries, um, the older battle packs had a good guy and a bad guy. So I'm going to be looking at these two, um, what I like, what I don't like, and uh, hope you enjoy it. And next time we will be building the mountains. But for now, take a look at the reviews. All right, let's start with the... T-16 Skyhopper versus Bantha. This is part of the Microfighters collection. Um, six plus, 198 pieces. And this uh, this set cost $19.99, which is about 10 cents a piece. Um, and like I said before, you get a good guy, the T-16 and pilot, and his adversary or bad guy, which is the Tusken Raider. And this is a little different. There was a, a larger full-size T-16 Skyhopper set, uh, Lego set 75081, which now is going for about 60 bucks. But back then it was about $24 when it was released, I think, in 2015. Um, difference being it was a large Skyhopper, not the Microfighter. And it came with the Tusken Raider, but no Bantha, which actually I think this is probably the coolest part is uh, a solid Bantha build which we don't believe we've gotten one up until this point. So fairly easy to put together, the instructions. Um, took about probably 15, 20 minutes for an adult, somebody uh, a, a little more uh, with smaller motor skills as I'm old. Um, but overall, I was pretty happy with this set. And like I said, if you're going to spend some money, and this being 20 bucks, it's good to have kind of a battle pack where you can actually do a battle. So, on to the Mandalorian review. Mandalorian battle pack review. Um, product number 75267. Uh, ages 6 plus and 102 pieces. This one uh, retails for about $14.95, which comes in at about $0.14 cents a piece. So, it's actually a little more per piece costly than the Skyhopper Bantha battle pack um, and uh, now don't get me wrong this is a very cool set you get four Mandalorian warriors you don't get the Mandalorian warrior from the Disney Plus show but you get you get a ship and you get um, kind of a little mini base here so and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong you know one of my beefs was it didn't have good guys versus bad guys but I'm not completely familiar with the Rebels show and in Clone Wars, uh, one of the cartoons, maybe the Mandalorians did fight each other in the Battle of Mandalore or something, but somebody in the comments can call me an idiot. Um, and there was one thing I forgot on the other one was, I love the new, uh, you can fire uh, bullets. When I was a kid, when they came out uh, back in 1981, when you were able to get a uh, mail-in for Boba Fett was, you know, the first time anyone had seen Boba Fett, and he had a little rocket launcher in the back, and the rocket launcher, legend has it, it would shoot the little uh, uh, bullet out of his back, but before even somebody got their hands on it, they were worried, uh, it was Kenner at the time, was worried about choking hazard, so they got rid of anything that fired bullets. Well, each one of the, the guns, and actually I missed this on the Skyhopper, um, he has two bullets as well, he can fire. You can actually fire little pieces, which I'm assuming is uh, still a choking hazard, but maybe less of a concern these days. So anyways, overall, two very good sets. I actually prefer the T-16 versus Bantha. 
mostly because I'm old school. I like uh, Tatooine, and I like having a good guy versus a bad guy. But you could easily, in the pretend world, have uh, two of the Mandalorians fight each other. Actually, there was a couple more things I wanted to touch on with the Mandalorian Battle Pack. One was that it comes with four antennas to put on the sides of the helmet, um, as the Mandalorians have for their uh, for um, communication. And, and actually, in the Mandalorian Disney Plus show, Mandalorian doesn't have his uh, antenna yet. So that's one cool piece, and it's going to be uh, taken off. Um, one other note was this piece came with the set. There's four of these. And I'm assuming it might be a neck guard or something to put the cape on, but it isn't referenced in the instructions and other than its existence. And I also couldn't find um, in any picture, so I probably should Google that. And again, maybe I'm an idiot, but if somebody wants to tell me what the heck this thing is, it, there was four of them, so it came um, for each Mandalorian. And then the last thing, which is kind of creepy, all the Mandalorian's heads are completely black with no features, so leave the helmet on. And while we're on questions about these sets, I had another question about the uh, T-16 Skyhopper set. Um, exactly who is this guy working for? Um, I know it's a pilot and he's on Tatooine. I, at first I thought, oh, maybe he's local police that kind of protects Tatooine um, from the Tusken Raiders or the Jawas. And I remember in New Hope, they talked about Luke going to the Academy. And uh, he does have a logo on his helmet. Um, so maybe somebody can tell me, is that logo of the Academy? Is he local Tatooine police? Exactly who does this guy work for? Well, that pretty much does it for this review video. Thanks for watching. Um, again, next uh, on the next video, we're going to get back to the Tatooine diorama. Um, hopefully we get our mountain pieces in by then. Um, there was one other um, battle pack I wanted to review, but I didn't really uh, have time for. And also, um, couldn't find this in stores. This is pretty much I found online, I think on Amazon and eBay, which was a Jawa versus Tusken Raider battle pack. Um, so, a little strange. It actually said it was from Japan, so I have to do more research into this. Thanks again for watching. Please like the video. Um, we love your comments, feedback. Um, maybe answer some of the stupid questions I asked, but uh, we'll see you next time and thanks for watching.